Welcome to the channel all about economic board games. Today I'm going to be giving you a run through of this game, Food Chain Magnate. 100% dice free, the modern way to old fashioned good gaming. Now in this game it's a 2-5 to five player, it says about 120 to 240 minutes which is probably about right. And we've got the designers here in very small print, graphic designers and it's brought to you and published by these guys here. Now this game is all all about us as CEOs here CEOs that's you running a food chain so you're going to be running various companies trying to sell burgers pizzas you're going to be expanding them with extra workers and hoping to dominate this player board here now this run through as usual is just myself playing as two players if you're after a shorter insight go and check out my video on this game from last week my overview and I'm not going to go too heavy on the rules straight off we're going to get straight into it as usual so we're running companies i've already picked out two companies we've got santa maria pizza and we've got fried and donkey some great names there i'm going to keep these two here just to remind myself as to which company is who so we've got two ceos uh, this is the board in a two-player game it does vary from uh, up to four player you've got this nine track these are all modular boards and this is just how it's it's uh, laid out and and funny enough we've actually got a road connect Connection with every single house these are all the houses that you're going to be providing your food to and drink it's actually all connected which is amazing and to begin with we've got each each player so two players has put $50 contributed into the bank so there's $100 to start there you've got your CEOs and each player would have chosen one of these reserve cards and this will make a bit sense uh, more sense later uh, but I'm, I'm probably really only going to get through a couple of couple of rounds of going through the um the, the turn order really so these might not come into play but basically once all that money's been exhausted by paying out the uh, the companies uh, these will come into play and these sort of dictate the length of the game so they're kept in secret one player might go for either the 100 or the 200 or there's a 300 as well and they also show extra spots that you can acquire so if it if it be, if the average becomes the 100 then you'd place this below your ceo who has three spots to hire people and it become two i know i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself but i'll probably forget to discuss that later so that's what they are kept secret there now the uh, first thing we're going to do is place our actual businesses onto the board and you randomly do the player order so in this case santa maria happened to to be first drawn so fried geese or oh, fried geese and donkey actually i got the name wrong i couldn't actually see the geese on there fried and donkey it's fried geese and donkey okay we, we, we got there so santa maria is going to go last in terms of the placement because they're first on the play order so fried geese and donkey then i think you can see that there's this house there's, there's one two three four five houses in this area and a couple over there so again they're all connected to the road i think this one's going to probably go smack bang in the middle of it now what you're looking for here you're aiming to place this on any of these available white spots you can't sort of put it you know on one of the houses or on one of these wholesaler of, of drinks so it's gonna have to go on a, a white spot and you can see just in the bottom that's kind of the entrance to the door and this has to be connected to a road of some sort so we're going to pop it there which means we're in this kind of tile here which means we're, we're, we're sort of connected to this house at a range of one and i'll go through the ranges again in in a minute so santa maria then to be honest is, is they can't be on the same tile they have to meet the same requirements in terms of being on a white spot and the door facing the road so i think we're just gonna we're not gonna think too hard i'm not gonna play my best strategy today just just plonk it there and they're close to a couple of us as well so quite a competitive start here next thing we're going to do then so you, you can't it's, there's a sprawling board here there's a lot going on and i can't really show it all in the camera view so i've got these printouts and this is going to show you to my left which you might just about be able to see all of the actually sorry it's this one i'm looking at you're going to be able to see all the milestones the milestones are massive in this game and this is how you you're going to get extra benefits for being the first to do something and your opponent might also be able to get them if they manage to do that on the same round so there's a host of those i'll give you a demonstration of a few of them as we go through but i'm going to be referring to this rather than uh moving the camera to to show them but they're all on the left all the milestones and on the right hand side 
side there's another host of cars you might just be able to see a few of them and those are all the extra staff and managers and, and a host of things we can recruit and hire and this is a, a great layout in on the menu as well again these are my own printouts and it just gives you the flow of of how they're going to progress as you hire them now the actual uh the actual sort of what's it called a menu board which is quite funky for uh sort of a player ed you've got the literally one to seven of of, of the player menu of, of how you're going to be going through your turns which i'll go through and inside you can see this this nice layout of all the staff and on the back you've got the milestones and it gives you a bit of info on the marketing that's that's very useful for reminding you what that does so there we are folks let's crack on then so we've placed our companies and looking at this restructuring guide then you can see number one is restructuring we're going to place our employees face down into an at work and on the beach so we start off with the ceo and they're always in play and as we get other staff and managers we're going to decide whether we're going to put them into our organization based on these slots or we're going to put them at what the game calls on the beach they're just sort of on a separate pile so obviously to begin with we've only got the ceo and we've created our uh, structure we then go to order of business now that structure would be simultaneous you just both do it at the same time and we then go to order of business and it says here most open slots choose first so let's just say well it's even at the moment because they've both got three slots open because they haven't had any on it then goes to the player order track and santa maria is going to be first in terms of carrying out the the turn order here working nine to five it's called now in player order each player does the following steps you're going to recruit employees so i'll sort of get this out of the way it's hogging the, the thing but i'll read out to you so we're going to recruit employees now where do we say santa maria so that's this person here and they get to recruit someone for, for free basically from following from this guide here left to right you can't just go and grab a regional manager you have to recruit them so and, and you can see that these sort of little play symbols here represent that those are the guys you're going to get first so i think we're probably just going to go and get a management trainee you can't really go too wrong now this management trainee is going to offer us another two positions to kind of open out so we could put that one spot there and you can see this kind of this funnel means we've got two extra spots there and now we've got two more here and it says the junior vice president uh, well the management trainee it sort of advises you what they can turn into by these hours so it can turn into a, a junior vice president luxuries manager or a new business developer which is all on this kind of guide as to the, the arrows you can see there so it's there go in the entirety so they've recruited employees they're now going to train anyone they haven't actually got anyone any any trainees in in their structure yet so they're going to pass that and there's a whole load of other stuff which they can't do just yet and we will get round to that so we're going to go over to this player and basically they're only going to be able to hire someone now in terms of these i really have to keep an eye on these milestones because every time you pretty much do anything at the beginning you're going to be getting a bonus so let me just check uh no first someone to train so there's nothing for i don't believe there's anything for getting a management trainee so we'll pass on that over to these guys then fried uh geese and donkey i'm gonna have to remember they're called geese <laughs> what have we got then so they are gonna go i think we're gonna go for a recruiting girl and uh, this recruiting girl is going to let us hire one person so when we come back around to this they're going to get a chance to to hire two now i should say actually that when you hire someone they go straight on the beach so these shouldn't have actually gone into our uh, structure chain as, as yet and they're pretty much done working nine to five there's nothing else they can do uh, and we we don't do any of these that we pretty much go straight to the cleanup phase which is where well i'll go through that shortly but you put all your employee cards back in your hand uh, over here and you take any remaining milestones so that's important actually take your milestone at the, the 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 end of the turn of play and do these guys get anything for recruiting girl let me have a look so i'll read for a few of these it'll remind me as well so first to train someone's going to get you something first to hire three people in a turn if you're going to throw away food or drink first waitress first have 20 dollars first have 100 bucks first to low prices uh play pay 20 pound on salaries operator car errand boy pizza brew so a whole load of things for doing first but nothing for for these guys as yet and that is literally the end of what should we say the first round uh, you have nothing to move round order and that's that that's that really so we go back around i'm just trying to recall how we change player order actually i think that is where is it discarded so oh yeah that's obviously uh 
order of business is where you change the player order. In most games, you, you determine a player order in the end. So there we are, folks. So back around then to restructuring. And we're still with uh, simultaneous. That's why player order doesn't matter. And these guys are going to choose, you know, which one they're going to bring out. So clearly, they're going to bring out the management training, which looking back now probably wasn't the best idea. I should have got started with, uh, like, these guys here. have got a uh, recruiting girl. So there we are. We've done restructuring. We've placed all our guys out over to order of business. Now, this time, you can see these guys have got two spots free because they've only got the one and these guys have got two three four so uh, santa maria gets to choose now if they want to stay in first or second they're going to stick in first there would be instances where you might want to go second because of various things that happen on the board but we'll we'll, we'll leave it as is so over to working nine to five then recruiting employees santa maria are going first and i think we're going to go for should we start getting some food in? Because if we get some food in early, we then get that very nice milestone of getting the fridge. And we're going to do that. So to do, so I'm, I'm going to go for, get one drink of any type, which is the Erin Boy. So you can see this Erin Boy here is going to get me one drink of any type. And I've gone for that because I'm sort of quite far away from the warehouses at the moment. And I, I could train him later on to get the cart operator. I'd need a, a, a trainer first, though. I need to get me two drinks from each source en route up to two spots. So we could just about get a couple of them. So we're going to go for the errand boy then. So we put them on our beach. So we've, we've hired one. Now, we can hire one because our CEO always lets us hire one. Now, these guys, they can hire two because they've got the, the recruiting girl and the CEO. Now, they are going to go with... You know what? I think they're going to go for an, an errand boy as well. I should. Uh, I've actually got so many cards. I forgot that these guys are all on the side. I think they're going to go for an errand boy as one, and they're going to go for a kitchen trainee. Now the kitchen trainee produces one burger or one pizza, so they're both kind of in a little race to get that uh, those fridge. So that's that one. So uh, train employees, no, and we'll. It's sort of quite a slow start, really. You're just literally developing your structure. You're a small business, and trust me, it'll all escalate soon if, if I get that far. So uh, where are we? So we now go back to the beginning, restructuring, get all your employees. You bring all these back together. Now, normally, you'd have to pay for, for, for some of these when um, it, when you get to the, the payday phase, and that's uh, payments are made. Oops, wrong one. I guess key, I? Payments are based on cards which have... This little sort of money symbol at the bottom, but that's kind of when you get to the uh, the more expensive people. So we're back to restructuring now. What we're going to do? So we're going to put out all our cards. We've got that management trainee, and we're going to put the Aaron boy out. That's great. These guys. Now you don't have to put them all out. You might want to keep some back. Uh, you also get to fire them if you can't afford the cost and you don't want them. So we're definitely going to go for the higher. And we're going to go for these two. That's great. Okay. So, again, number of uh, places open. These guys have got, what, one, two, three spots open, and they've got zero. So, again, Santa Maria would go first and pick where they want to go. And now they're going to undertake. So, they get one drink of any type. So, we've got all the resources at the top here. And I should say we've got lemonade is yellow, Coke. We've got beers. We've got peaches. And we've got burgers. So, they're the five uh, main sort of food and drinks now they are going to get one drink we're going to go for well, we'll get a lemonade shall we say and train employees no none of the other stuff get food and drinks then oh we've, we've, we've just done that basically i've done that a little bit early so recruit employees so we should follow the order follow up. recruit employees we're not doing train employees Oh, no, we can recruit, so I'm getting confused here, right? Let me stick to the plan of this guide. So recruit employees. We're going to go for what we're going to get this time. Maybe a marketing trainee, because we know we're getting a little drink, sneaky drink. So we're going to go for a marketing trainee, and we're going to pop that on the beach for now. So recruit employees is done. We've got no trainers. Initiate marketing campaign, so we've got no one doing any marketing just yet. We're going to get food or drink. So this is where the Aaron Boyd gets his lemonade for. It's great. Place new houses and gardens. No, nope, we haven't got any of them. Place or move restaurants. No, nope, not yet. Uh, over to these guys then. So they are going to recruit. So they've got two recruits. And they're also going to go for a marketing trainee. And I think it's about time they got a management trainee as well. So they're on the beach for them. They're not training any employees, although I should start getting one of these guys having a trainee, I reckon, to, to boost 
that initiate marketing campaigns no get food and drink so they can produce one burger or one pizza so they're going to produce a let's go for a burger and they're going to get one drink of any type let's just go for a coke do something different um we're not doing those so dinner time dinner time would only occur if there's actually stuff that these houses demand which we'll, we'll get to payday no one's got any of those cash symbols we're not paying for our, our salaries yet marketing campaigns no no so clean up so discard and sold food and drinks so these guys haven't actually got fridges yet so we're we're discarding these which is a bit odd but um that's just the way it goes but you'll have they'll both have the joy actually in a second of getting a uh so take employee cards back into your hand including uh, marketeers of not take remaining milestones cards that have been worth on so this is where we should get some so these guys are first then so erin boy let's have a look so the first to take the uh where is it? erin boy all buyers get plus one drink from each source so let's go and grab that card first erin boy play so all buyers so that's these guys are going to get plus one drinks from the source now. So we keep that there to remind us we've got it. So rather than just getting the one drink, they're going to be getting two drinks. And these guys also had an errand boy. So they're, and it, because it's in the same round, they're going to get that as well. But now the errand boy milestones would, if, if there's a free four player game and no one else could achieve it, these technically would be out of the game and no one else could achieve them from now on. And let's just say this player hadn't had this, they're on the beach. These guys would have got the milestone and these guys unfortunately wouldn't have been able to achieve it because they're a bit late to the, the table. So their kitchen training as well, I'm pretty sure that's going to get them. So produce one burger, produce burger. So yep, yeah, they're going to get this one. So this is the first burger produced because these guys, the kitchen trainee, produced a burger. He could have gone for a pizza as well. But the burger, it means he's going to get an extra burger when, when they cook this, this time. So I'll try and keep that in view. And that's it these go back in in the beach well it's difficult players two players but hopefully i don't make any glaring mistakes and uh, where are we so that's that's that so back over to restructuring this is really useful folks i'm, cl I'm glad this is uh, part of the game so place all face down so let's have a look what these guys have got then so we're going to place that one we're going to place the errand boy again and we're going to place our marketing trainee now Great, these guys, <clears throat> we've got a management trainee in play now, we're going to put a marketing guy down, we're going to put an errand boy, a kitchen and a recruiting goal, so we, we've met all our re requirements there. Now, over to order of business, so these guys have got all three full, two full, so they've got zero spots and these guys have got these two spots, so again, they're first, they could change the player order if they want, but they're, they're not going to. So... What can these guys do then? So recruiting employees, they've got the option to hire one person and they're looking at their opponents and this is the advantage of going first, I guess, and thinking, right, we're both going for burgers and pizzas and drinks. Well, they're getting burgers and pizzas and we're not, so maybe we're just going to go and get a, a, a kitchen trainee. You know what? We're actually going to go and get a trainer because we need to start up in these, I reckon. So we're going to get a trainer, which basically lets us train one person and they haven't got actually on to train at the moment marketing campaigns then so they can take this marketing training and they kind of put it separate because they uh, aren't now included as the, the structure and it says on it place a billboard max duration two <clears throat> so at the top which is just out of camera view you basically got a selection of billboards with various number which determine how they play on the board various sizes as well and we get to take one of those billboards now as you progress up you've got the campaign managers I'll just show you that they can do the mailboxes so that's these ones you've then got the brand manager who can do anything lower as well same as the campaign manager but they can do these sort of airplane things that you put on the side of the board and they kind of give the option that kind of probably makes no sense to you at the moment but it will do shortly and then the brand directors brand directors can give you the option to get these radios which are great because they sort of well in a two-player game distribute the marketing across the board so what we're actually going to do then so we're going to place a billboard so we're just going to go for this little 14 -er. and it's got a max duration of two so starting at santa maria then this is their their entrance to the the road so this is their first time now every, that's classed as zero and every boundary you cross is classed as is is, is 
a unit so one to go there we follow the road we go across this boundary would be two now it's basically saying that we can place a billboard a max duration of two uh, and that's sort of highlighted with this this road one up here uh, actually sorry duration is two and the the, the distance from our uh, what's it called our our company by road is is a maximum of two so we are and the aim of this is to sort of market to these houses what food and drink they are interested in which forms the the demand which then we hopefully want to supply and looking at us we've we've got the option to get a drink and we will on future turns have or oh, we didn't go for the uh, pizza boy did we so drinks is what we're kind of gunning for at the moment and we're thinking well we don't really want to give it to the competition i'm not going to think too hard now this is zero let's go with this spot so that's one away which is fine and it's connected to the house now the billboards have to be connected to the house in order it to, for for it to um activate it has to be connected to the road which connects to our business the uh what they're called the mailboxes they can activate a house in a region so if you happen to put it here it's connected to the road this will actually go it, it, its borders will be the road so you can see round here round there round there so this is its entirety of what it'll be impacting by you know all these people mailbox and everyone so it'll be that house and that house whereas this one is only this house so that's those and then again you've got these kind of the um airplane ones if you put it say here it would impact everything along here which would be that house and that house it just missed that one unless you got one of these sort of bigger airplanes and then i'm go i'm describing these now because i probably won't actually get a chance to use many and if you place this radio station it impacts all the areas around it if it was a bigger board three four player it pretty much does everything called foggily and, and adjacent so that's what the radio masts would do so we've placed it within the right distance it's connecting where we now decide what we're going to put on it I and mean, i think we're going to go for two coach because we've got a duration of two we don't have to go for two we could put one down so we now remind ourselves with the number so you can see it's number 14 and we just placed 14 on our marketeer to remind us that that's ours and it's in play we have done marketing over to get food and drinks we do have an errand boy and we're going to get one drink and we're going to go for cola awesome now actually there was a reward i think i missed a milestone which i was banging on about earlier which was disposing of food and drink which we should have achieved and that is where's that gone first to throw away drink and food yes yeah, so we they both did dispose of their drink and food and they would have got these milestones which we're going to play out because these are vital and it says get a freezer that stores 10 items drink or food so they both achieved that which is great they're not having to discard any food or drink uh, unless, unless they got more than 10 which unless you got some of those big burger cooks ain't really going to happen just yet so there we are right so we are we've got food or drinks for these guys right place new houses and gardens so i'm going to go through this because again i'm probably not really going to have time to do it but you so starting with recruit employees we've done that train employees we haven't actually got a train out yet we've done the marketing campaign we've got the food and drinks you can place new houses and gardens so if you get the local manager i'll just go and grab him the local manager lets you put a new restaurant out so there's a stash of well you've got three restaurants in total you start with one on the board and you get to put a new restaurant coming soon so you can see this says welcome and that says coming soon so you'd put it say you really wanted it here it's connected to that road there well, let's just put it there say and on the next turn your local manager it, it would be able to be welcome but if you'd upgrade to a regional manager you can see you can put it straight out on the the welcome soon one which means it's active for that round but there's only one of those in play for the game now you can also get so that's how you get new businesses out you start with one and you're trying to get those guys on the structure and i'll just show you because you can't see on the camera to get the local manager and regional manager you're going to need your management trainee to your junior vice president and then to your vice president and then you can turn it into these uh, or you can turn your junior vice president straight into one of those i should say and then that kind of has to go through your vice president 
up to here and become one of these so you can see the, the flow of order there now you can also go for a new business developer which lets you place out a house or a garden so you might find that look over here there's there's loads of area free and you're kind of on this road whereas these guys are stuck around there so if you get this new business developer you can pull out a new house and every new house comes with a garden already attached or you could get a garden and attach it to one of these out there so you could put it there now the importance of gardens are they double the value of the goods sold from that property which will make a lot more sense shortly uh, but you this is basically just to show you guys that if these guys are struggling and they want to put a new house here boom they've got you know more interested demand and more yeah, more interest in their product so that's a little bit about the new business developer and that's kind of those five and six stages place a new house and gardens or place or move restaurants so i should say that that local manager and regional manager can actually move well no only the regional manager can move so maybe you're like you know what this ain't working out let's cut and run over here you've got also that new business developing you've got a whole new area to make your your cash and become the the most successful company so over to are we on didn't know these guys haven't had there go yet so those guys are done and recruiting then so we got the option did we actually recruit for these ones yeah we got a trainer didn't we yeah one trainer. it's because they haven't got a recruiting girl as these guys have so they've got one person there to hire one person here and they're gonna hire i think we're gonna go for a, tr a trainer and another management trainee yeah that's what we're gonna do so they're on the beach that's that over to training they haven't got anyone out just yet over to marketing campaigns which they do have so we're going to put that in play i'm kind of running out of space here and these guys have got a billboard as well so they're going to go for this number 13 now these guys are all about the burgers or pizzas at the moment so let's just say they pop it here it's within two distance so this is zero they cross that line one connected to a road and they're going to go for burgers on that one and they're going to do a duration of two it lets you do two so that was number 13 we pop number 13 on here and we now get food and drinks so they have got one burger or pizza they're going to go for the burger because that's where the demand is and they're going to get one drink of any type which they're going to go for coke they may have a little competition for this one in a sec which actually i think they're going to win because they're actually on the same uh, tile as that so we'll, we'll see what happens there they are not going to place new houses or move restaurants because they haven't got the guys for that so over to dinner time we might actually have something to do here so dinner time then this is number four you determine the prices so each good is ten dollars and then you include effects of discounts and stuff so there are various cards on here that let you have discounts so we can see here the pricing manager will reduce the cost by one now this is important because it is attracts the customers to the actual property shall we say uh, well to your businesses to, to buy them if you have a luxuries manager you can actually increase the price by 10 get more cash and you've got a discount manager which is minus free as well now actually i've actually gone ahead of myself we can't do dinner time yet because no one's actually demanding anything so i've got ahead of myself there. i need to go one more round because this marketing campaign is what's going to be uh doing demand so we're skipping dinner time now i'll go through that again in a sec payday we have not if i believe got anyone who needs to pay marketing campaigns then so we resolve them in order of printed numbers now this is the importance of going first then so we have got santa maria who are first and they've got number 14 Oh, actually, no, sorry, it's in, in it's in order of the, the numbers. So resolve campaigns in order of printed numbers. So not to do with player order, my mistake. We look at the numbers on the board, and you can see number 13 will actually be going first. Now, what does this mean? They're connected to this house, because remember the billboards, they have to be connected. So they're going to demand that house is now seeing that billboard from asking that, oh, I'm actually potentially wanting a burger this evening. So one burger goes there, and actually that should come off here uh but i'll i'll yeah that's that's what we do um that's one burger and that's them done over to the player or other billboard and these guys are demanding coke and i've taken off the top because their duration was two and it just shows that we've only got one duration left and that's what they're demanding so we've done the 
marketing campaigns. Now, I should say that houses without gardens can only have a maximum of three demand tokens on them. So, you know, potentially if there was other ways of uh, advertisement, you can only have three goods on their max. Or let's just say no one's able to meet the Coke requirement and it gets to three, that's it. Whereas the gardens can have a maximum of five on there. And interestingly, you have to meet the requirements, which will go on the dinner time, of everything that uh, house is demanding. So clean up then. We discard all food and drink. Now, these guys have got fridges. So we're going to put these on, uh, well, freezers, should I say. We take all employees back. Any remaining milestones? Now, let's have a look at the milestones then, because duh, 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 first waitress, 20, but no one's got any money yet. First card, first pizza. Oh, if these guys had produced a pizza, they would have got that um, token. But they, they wanted the burger to get some some cash. Right, first burger marketed. Right, we have got something here. So first billboard placed. We've achieved that one. First billboard placed. Now, both of them achieved this. So no salaries for marketeers. Eternal marketing. Wicked. So... They both got that because they both achieved marketing trainee. Now, as me playing this game with two players, I'm noticing already that my strategies are rather similar for both. Whereas, I've got to be honest, when you're playing on your own, you're kind of looking at all these and you're planning, you know, some amazing strategy and you'll find that your opponent's actually doing something different. So it's, it's unusual that both of these players are, are getting exactly the same or very similar, should I say, milestones in this case. And, right... What else did we say we had? So that was the first bill, first burger market. So these guys have actually done that one. And that's going to get them extra five for every burger sold. You really have to keep an eye on all these. They give you a host of benefits. Did we get anything else? First drink marketed. We've got that one for these guys. I'm already running out of space. That's going to get them an extra five bucks for when they sell a drink. First airplane. No, I think that's pretty much all our milestones so far. So already a lot going on. And we are we take all our cards back. These guys come out of the beach. And these guys come out of the beach. Oh, what was that one? First billboard. First billboard. I think that was an extra one actually. Let's get that out of the way. Okie dokie. Where's their token gone? Right, Santa Maria. Marketing trainee. Right, now we're going to pick again. CEO. We're going to get that Owen boy out because we really want another drink. We're going to get the trainer out this time. And we're going to get the management trainee. So I should add that. You can't just have a host of management trainees. Training ever manages. Only your CEO can have these management trainees. And if you do manage to go up the ladder and get junior vice presidents, then they also have to go under the CEO. And they have their own slots for, for other people. So you can't just have this, this massive uh, slot. Now, there is ways to increase that CEO once you get the, what's it called? Once this phase happens, the reserve, once all the money's gone, you can see if someone had to put a 300 card down, there would have been four spots potentially. So that would have been a way to increase that. So these guys are going to put those out. These ones are pretty much going to have all of them, I'd imagine. So we've got a management trainee, another trainee, we've got a trainer, Aaron Boy. Okay, over to three spots. So they've got one free spot. These guys have got one, two free spots. So again, nothing changes play order unless they want to. And the reason they might, I guess, want to go second is because they'll watch what these guys do and they might think, right, they're going for a certain milestone and I can replicate that and get it before they, um, you know, if they were second, then they don't know what they're going to do. So that's one reason you might want to do that. <coughs> Pardon me. Right. Order of business done. Over to nine to five. We are going to start with these guys. Recruit employees. Now we have got a, um, oh, we still haven't got a recruit girl other than our CEO. Slow progress here, folks, and I think we're going to go for a recruiting girl <clears throat> on our beach. Over to train employees. We have got a trainer, so who are we going to train? We could train anyone on the beach as well, so we could turn that recruiting girl. So let me just remind you, looking at here, we have got a management trainee. We could turn into one of these guys, and I think we're going to do that. We're going to go for. A new bit. Now we're going to go for a junior vice president. So we're going to train up this this chap. Oh, you know what? You can't actually train anyone who is working that day. You can only train people up on the beach. I've remembered. So 
that's the one of the tricksy things in this game because I would have had to leave this management trainee out on the beach, which gave me less slots in, in order for me to use the trainer to be able to train him. So my mistake, I oh, I can't even train a recruiting girl because there's no path up. So I have boo-booed that. I can't actually use my trainer. Okay, that's, that's a lesson learned. Over to initiate marketing campaigns. So we have got this marketing... Uh, campaign which is in play uh, i should say that's eternally as well because we have the uh we have this benefit here which is eternal marketing but we haven't got any new marketers so we're not doing them that's just that happens on the marketing campaign phase we are going to get food and drink the Aaron boy is going to get us a drink and we're going to go for another coat we're going to place new houses, not applicable, move restaurants. Okay, they're done. Over to these guys, over to recruit. So they've got the CEO can hire. And I think I've done exactly the same problem with this trainer. They're not actually going to be able to train anyone. But the recruit, in terms of recruitment, we've got two people we, we can recruit. We're going to go for another trainer. and We're going to go for a waitress. I'll sort of show you what a waitress does. So they are in the, the, the... Actually, what I probably should do is take someone I can train... Yes, I've got it. I'll take the management trainee. I believe you can do this. Right, so we'll take, we'll hire the management trainee on the beach and we're going to take a waitress as well. Next thing we can train. We have got a trainer and we have got someone on the beach. So I've solved it. I probably should have done that for these guys as well, but I took a recruiting girl. So we're going to train this management trainee into a junior vice president. You can see they've got extra slot there. Now, could have gone for a luxuries manager or a new business developer. It's an interesting one, the plus 10, because it increases your, your price and risk of potentially not getting the, the demand. So I'm, not, I'm going to ignore that for now. If I had a kind of niche in the corner, I might consider it, but I'm going to go for the junior vice president because I want to increase that to potentially get a discount manager is what I'm thinking. Right, so that's my training done. We're over to marketing campaigns. We haven't got anyone new to add to the marketing. Get food or drinks, we've got a kitchen. So I'm going to go for a pizza this time, and doing so will actually give me that milestone at the end. And the drink, we're also going to go for the cola. And that's it for that phase. Working 9 to 5, over to dinner. So I should say I'm looking at this on the side here, but I don't want to keep bringing it into play. But dinner time. Right, we are able to serve these hungry patrons and they're waiting for you can see these guys are after a cola and these guys are after a burger so what we're going to do then the the easiest way to I'll, I'll just literally read it out then so in order of house number can you eat at the restaurant offering all the items so first off these guys uh, we're going to look at the number so number 10 is the lowest so they're going first these guys have got coke and these guys have got coke so they're both in with the running uh, multiple choices, so they go to the they go to the player at the restaurant of the lowest result of the unit price plus the distance. So the unit price is ten. If they did have these discount pricing managers, or pricing managers, it'd be able to reduce. So if these guys had this, that would go from ten to nine, and that will show you the importance in the set. So let's start off with Santa Maria. Then. They're here, and this is the house in question. It's a value of 10, and the distance is plus zero because they're actually on that place. So 10 plus zero is a value of 10. These guys then are still 10, but they have to cross this border on the road, so that makes their value 11. So these guys are going to either go for this one for 11 or this one for 10. They're clearly they're going to go for the cheapest. Now, let's just say these guys had the discount manager. Their price would now be 10 minus the 3 is 7, plus the 1 for the distance is 8. 8 compared to the 10, they are the cheapest, so these guys would get their, their, um, their custom. So that's the importance of those discount managers. But in this case, Santa Maria wins the business. So what do we do then? So they fulfill it. They've got, they spend the, the 1 from either their own boy or the freezer. They've met the demand. They're going to get then the unit price of 10, so... Uh, if it had been discounted, you'd get the discounted price, so that's uh, less money in your bank because you're or in your business because you've you've gone for the discount structure. So we're going to get ten plus any bonuses. So we sold a drink, and we're going to get plus five for each drink sold. So we're getting fifteen bucks. Now we keep this money kind of separate, but well, we don't need to for now because there is actually a CFO card which I'll show you. And basically, if you get this one, one player only gets it if you get their first add 50 percent to cash in this round which isn't going to happen in in this particular go but they've got 15 bucks whoa we're off 
and let me just see if i've missed anything so we've determined the price order any discounts we've done that where does they can eat in the restaurant so if for example the value was 10 there and well 11 there and 11 here for some reason you would then go by the waitresses and that's why they're important because not only do they give you free dollars cast like a tip that goes into your business they win ties against restaurants with fewer waitresses so if they were tied for the actual value, if these guys had a waitress, they would break the tie and get the business because they have better customer service, dramatically speaking. So we've done the union price, we've done the bonuses, and then we discard the sold items. If no restaurant can deliver the complete demand, the items stay on the house and we pay the waitresses at the end of the phase. So no one actually had waitresses at the moment, I think. Did we actually hire a waitress? Yeah, these guys have got one coming up in the next round. So that is dinner time, folks. Hopefully I explained it. So we've done number 10 over to 13. So let's start this again then. So can these guys do burgers? No. Can these guys do burgers? Yes. So they're automatically just going to get it. You don't have to do that maths every single time. Now, the unit price is 10 because they haven't got any discount managers. Um, oh, what have I done here? I made a right mess up on the cards. I will just put them aside. So the unit price is 10. They're only after one burger and they can provide that burger. So basically they're traveling from here, connected, boom, done. They get 10 bucks and they, well, they forgot they get an extra burger actually when they cook it. So they cooked the a burger or they cooked pizzas this time. So five bucks extra. So they're all equally going to get 15. And they would have got an extra drink actually. I'm going to take that extra drink keep forgetting to look at these milestones so they've got 15 as well and all their food so yep yeah, that is dinner time we've done all the businesses there over to payday no one has actually got i believe anyone with that cost on and they also have no salaries for marketeers so you know if you did go for a campaign manager later you can see that after pay it's 5k i should add so five grand per per symbol but these guys wouldn't have to pay for marketeers which is nice and i think there's another card you can get which is ooh, where is it it's one of the milestones for this is it so if you're the first to train someone which these guys will get this round you get 15 dollars discount on salary so i'm going to keep that out just to remind myself it's getting a little bit blurred this board now so payday no one's paid marketing campaigns so we resolve them in order again so 13 first that burger is going to go in there and this 10 here now interestingly if someone had another marketeer out and they decided to put say this uh, mailbox one here it's connected to a road and they decided to start advertising lemonades uh, that means that during this phase they would also want a lemonade now the person who put that there might not necessarily be too fussed about actually fulfilling it it could have been santa maria and they've got maybe no hope of providing it but they've messed up the strategy for these guys uh, and or, or if they did have burgers and lemonade and they noticed that these guys are all about the burgers but they didn't have lemonade even though they're closer, those guys want a burger and a lemonade. They're not just going to buy one burger. They need both. So these guys might have the product and actually get the business away from this uh, this this company here. So that's the, the power of this marketing. Absolutely massive in the game. Right then, so I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. And we've done the marketing campaign. Oh, have we? Yep, we put a burger on there. These guys have got the, the last coat. So that now shows that these... Well, actually, it comes into play next. Clean up, discard any unsold food or drink. So these are going to go to their fridges. Take all your employees back. But equally, we actually achieved some of those milestones. And what do... Well, I'll look through them in a sec. These guys come out the beach, very nice. As you can see already, the, the staffing is, is exploded in a few rounds. Now, these guys attain the first to train someone which gives them $15 discount, which is great for, for later on. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to sort of wrap it up here and go through a few bits and bobs because I could I could literally play the, the whole game here. So again, you just look through these, see what they've achieved and, and, and get the relevant milestones. So clean up then for the final time. Discard your food and drink, we've done that. Take your cars back, take remaining milestones. Oh, make sure there's no active marketing campaigns as well these two have had their max duration of two so they actually go back to the relevant places these guys have now finished and they go back into your main piles because their marketing has ended and you bring them out again next time and, and, and do what you need to do and we look for the milestones done so a few bits then that 
I probably won't really get a chance to do. We 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 literally keep doing that again and again. The player order is going to change. You're going to get more of these guys out, which let you do a host of things. Now let's go through some that I haven't mentioned. So the waitresses, we've kind of discussed that they're they're great for breaking those ties, which is massive. The business developers are going to let us place those houses and gardens, which you can see at the moment. These guys are kind of focused over there. These guys over here, but that might change if people use marketing to go for and disrupt maybe the lemonade or the beers i haven't really discussed these at all yet so if you went and upgraded your errand boy to a cart operator you can get two drinks from each source on a route and it goes up to two spots so basically these guys here they go zero cross a border one cross a border two and they can send their cart operator to get two drinks from this source here and it's coke now in this case it's a bit far to get to that one you can't do u-turns you can't come back on yourself but if they had the truck driver you could see they could go three spots so that means they're eligible to go here and get this this lemonade as well and they get free drinks from the source so those are really good ways to get more drinks on in play essentially and that's kind of all shown erin boy to car operator truck driver to zeppelin pilot and that zeppelin pilot where is he you get two drinks from each source on route you ignore roads really cool that one we've got the kitchen trainee one of these guys had it where was it uh, you can upgrade this kitchen trainee here and you can upgrade to a pizza cook or a burger cook now in doing so you can see your pizza cook's going to get you free pizzas uh, but you're going to have to start paying for these these costs and your burgers you're going to get free burgers and those will equally if you want to train them again go up to the burger chef which can do eight burgers and eight pizzas for the pizza chef but you start getting to these uh times one so there's only one in play and your your salaries start building up there we've got hr directors where you can hire four people and you get reductions in salary if you don't use them you've got executive vice presidents with 10 spots you can see you're going to need a big table to play this game i think i've already mentioned the luxury managers we've got the recruiter managers let you hire two people we've got coaches and gurus as well which are probably the last ones and they kind of let you get more training slots so you can upgrade the same person two steps so normally your trainer can only do one but you could in effect turn this management trainee you know up two spots all the way to a vice president or a local manager straight away and your guru does three steps you could do management trainee one two three straight to a senior vice president and i've already shown you the cfo as well really nice gives you 50 percent extra on that cash now this keeps going and remember when this money runs out you then turn to those reserve cards and you this is determines the, the length of play as i said earlier on right at the beginning so 300 bucks is going to come out and replace this and once that 300 bucks has have been exhausted if for example someone earns there's only 10 bucks there and someone earns 15 then they get the five out of the bank so you're not losing out that way that triggers game ends boom it's done whoever has the most money is the winner for me this is a fantastic game folks i love this structure and hierarchy i love this little menus it's really handy this you know there's it's it's, it's a heavy game but it's really streamlined be because of this and the way it, it sort of demonstrates that and, and the layout of this is amazing i like how all these it's tricky getting used to the milestones you really do have to pay attention and read through these the marketing as well this information about how the billboards have to be directly touching the house you got these ones here after moving that range i demonstrated and then i've already gone over there aeroplanes and the radios as well so hopefully guys that has been a good insight i would love to to show you more particularly my videos don't sort of do whole playthroughs more of a, a run through to show you a few rounds this really doesn't do it justice in terms of what the board might look like you would literally have probably you know extra houses coming out you know you'd have extra businesses on here all competing for stuff you'd see you know piles of goods on here you know your 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 structure would be a lot larger there'd be a lot more hustle and bustle to, to get player order here you might have extra gardens coming out so there is this board would look not cluttered but there'd be more going on and more interchanging as you go through in this particular bit it's, it's quite unusual the variability of, of of what comes out when you distribute these for example you know at the moment this lemonade warehouse and coke is it kind of pushed over to the right if that had a sort of been this you know like this it would have maybe changed things massively as to, to locations but in our case the businesses are over here this one's an interesting tile it's got a road all around it sometimes you can get uh, you know places where the actual houses are disconnected so for example this one 
Uh, let's change that slightly. You could see here, this house, if your business is over here, you can't actually get the road to connect to it. So that's why you want to get new businesses out and you maybe want to go here and get to the road. You maybe want to use the aeroplane thing so you can market them better. So it, there's a lot of different uh, varied strategies from game to game depending on the, the, the setup of this board as well. So there we are, folks. That is Food Chain Magnate.